Hey gang, Rodan here. Welcome on back to the Cade and our continuing playthrough of the original Diablo from 1998 as ported onto the PlayStation 1. Uh, if you missed the last episode, we have picked up quite a few new things that should be helping us out a lot. Specifically, we picked up a unique item called Schaefer's Hammer, which is a really good one-handed war hammer. It does uh, 1 to 50 lightning hit damage. It gives us a minus 100% damage boost. Gives us plus 50 hit points, chance to hit plus 30%, it maxes out our lightning resistance, and it gives us 10% light radius to go with our other items. So we were able to re-equip our shield. We also got the Anvil of Fury for Griswold the Blacksmith, who gave us a custom-made sword that is a very good weapon by all accounts, and I have not sold it. I just simply put it in the stash and will most likely, if I need to, bring it out to utilize it at a later date as the situation evolves. But now we'll head back into level 10, wrap up everything we need to do here. Because we still have some areas we need to explore. Frost Charger down. Scroll of Firewall, not interested. That Obsidian Lord was not pleasant. We are again swimming in cash. Should be a gate up here that allows us to pass through, which we can. You guys feel inclined to leave me the heck alone? You're immune to magic and fire, but not lightning. And another warhammer. So back to back enchanted warhammers we could pick up if you wanted to. You know what? Why not? Okay, come through this door, come through this door, and we are back where we started. We better take this guy out. Is there anything we're going to find down here? Besides barrels, no. So, looks like we have made our way through level 10. We can head back over towards where we found the stairs to take us down to level 11. Oop, got a small chest over here. Pick up some more money. There's a whole open pocket here that I uh, know I did explore because there's carcasses everywhere. I can always tell it's somewhere I've been because there's bodies strewn on the ground. The question is, how do we get back over to where the stairs were? Mm -hmm. 
that long sword alone. Don't need it. Here we go. We go around this edge. And there's the stairs. I could pick up that ring mail, but again, it's not enchanted, so there's no incentive for me to do it because I can't enchant the items. It's not like what we're able to do in Diablo 2 where you can attach gems and jewels and runes to stuff and boost them up. In this, it's what you find on site. Now that I've got lightning resist, I should have an easier time dealing with these guys because even though they're going to hit me from long range, now get out of the acid. Ooh, we got cave vipers now. Holy cow, there's a lot of cave vipers over here. And there's an elite one. And we took the elite one out, which is good. Alright, I'm gonna up my whoop. Not what I wanted. There, I need this, because I need to be able to boost up my... There we go. Now we're starting to set them out. Go away. Look at the elemental. Cape, buckler, another amulet. There we go. Hunter's bow, not interested. Oh boy, look out. Here comes the cavalry. This one you think you have a break and then all of a sudden it's just like a legion of them start coming at you. You're like, oh boy, what am I going to do? Like so. <laughs> oh crap, we got an elite. Look out. Look out. Okay, now that's why you want to make sure you're up near the stairs. Because even being up against the wall and in that corner, they were just swarming around me. And they won't follow me all the way up, which is good. This gives me an opportunity to offload some stuff, get some more gear and what I may have to do is I may have to swap out the hammer for my axe because the axe for whatever reason it just lets me attack a little bit quicker mm. it's 
So let's identify Come this over, stuff. Friend. Stay a while and listen. Amulet of the Moon. Gold Warhammer of Power. Warhammer of Bashan. So Whoa, picking up good stuff. But it's just not stuff that I need. And do you have anything else that's good over here? Not really. You still have the breastplate of the giants. Especially once I sell the book off. So put that stuff over there. Run and talk to Adria really quick. The other thing, even though this is a calculated risk by doing this with equipping the axe if for some reason I don't make it out of that pile up then I still have enough gear that I all I have to do is put my stuff back on come back down and I'll have enough to be able to start picking up where I left off I uh, want to sell the scroll of phasing so I'm not going to need it so that scroll of phasing not going to need it She does not have any scrolls of phasing anymore. So inevitably she gets to a point where she just does not have them. So you're better off using Kane anyway just to identify the stuff as you get it. Because they're going to be harder to find later on in the levels anyway. Now, there's one thing about this game that I don't like, is that once you hit a certain level, Stop stuff that you friend. really want, like those scrolls of Identify, they're just not around anymore. And I'm going to get potions of full healing, because why not? It's not like I can afford them. And I've whittled down my scroll supply, which I'm okay with. And I should have about 20,000 gold sitting back there in my stash. So if I need to buy a new set of armor to replace this one, I can do it. But also because the stone cleaver gives me a bit of lightning resistance anyway. This should hopefully help when I deal with this pack down here. Okay, here's hoping. <laughs> this is either going to go the way I want or it's not. Those are the options. I don't like it being so black and white, but Dems the brakes. I think I got it. That was not fun. A 
I can't carry any more. So I picked up an enchanted cape. Why this didn't have me use my full he healing potions that I had in here, I don't know. But that came very close to being the end of me. Dealing with that pack of beasties. Not enough mana. Studded leather armor, and we have a cape. So the studded leather armor I can drop. Because that's not going to be of any help to me. Alright, come on down here, boys. Bring your ugly faces to my axe. Potion of mana sitting there, but I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, the Axis does more overall damage than these things. Whereas having one handed weapons is nice because I have the benefit of the shield. If I can't. What good is it if I cannot be able to utilize it to attack something else? Down to level 12, so we've already found the way down from there. More money. And more of these guys. Get rid of the cave viper. Red storm will go. And I'm in a pocket here. And I think I can go that way or I can go down. I'm gonna go down first. See what all is over here. Which is nada. Whoa, hello. Hello, boys. And a whole line of cave vipers along that little stretch. Of course, there's a chest here. Staff of Chain Lightning, that's not bad. I could sell that off and make a good penny. you. Consider you dealt with. Alright, now I can move some stuff around a little bit more. And open up a little bit more inventory space up top for other things I may find in this level. Ooh. 
again, these guys just hit really hard. And because there's so many of them... You just gotta learn how to bottleneck them and take them out one at a time. And it's gonna get even harder as the game goes along because pretty soon we're gonna get into a level where there are wizards and mages and rather than them slinging lightning at us, they're gonna just sit there and sling magic bolts at us. And they're even more elusive. So not only are they powerful, they're hard to hit. Which makes them doubly annoying. So okay, we came around this side. Now we work our way back down. can't go over there anyway, so we're going to cross, and I'm going to come down that inlet. Take this wiper out. Be gone. And can't go that way. So we've cleared out the east side, and this is actually quite a large level. Fortunately, we already know where the stairs to go down to level 12 are. So we shouldn't have more to explore. Large shield. Stop it. Look at phasing. This chest open. Pick up mana and healing potion. If I get OSP potions, that's fine. Okay, I already went through all that stuff. There's nothing up there, at least as far as I know, but double check. No. Okay, back around to this side. It looks like we've got the northwest quadrant to look up. Nothing in that chest. Pit Beast out. Can't go up that way. So he has to go around and up this way. Pick that up. Looks like there's a door. Anything interesting in here? No. No. Okay. Well, we got more cash. And now we can come around here and go down to level 12. So we'll at least come down here. And if we find anything particularly impressive, we'll grab it and head on back up. But we're finding money and that's about it. Phasing. We got this big guy. Uh, 
Nothing over here. Around this corner. More you. Flayed one. Well, I flayed you open with my axe, so. I like them apples. I got a pawn some of the staff of elemental. Okay, so we're at about 26 minutes, which will give me enough time to get back after I level up. Pawn off the stuff that we have. And we can put a bow on this one. Because there's a bunch of stuff I can get to Adria. I can find out what that cape is. I can probably get rid of it. And yeah, I think despite not having the shield with the axe, I'm just able to do more damage. Which makes sense. It's a two-handed weapon, so... But I'm used to dealing with, in RPGs, when you have two-handed weapons, two-handed weapons tend to move slower. More slowly. Slower. No, it's not hot out. I'm not tired. What are we talking about here? So, Chain Lightning, 1475, sell that. 2085 for the staff. Sell the book. 875, and nothing else I need to get rid of. That I can see, no. Okay. So, go ID what the cape is. Sell that to Griswold. Pair of my gear, see if he's got anything truly exciting in his stash now. Hello, and we'll put a bow friend. on this one. Stay a while and listen. Cape of deflection, minus four damage from enemies. That's great, but it's three armor. Well, what can I do for you? Repair the crown and that stuff and what do you do you have anything new and exciting amber chain mail of brilliance resist all 19 percent plus 14 of magic armor 19 durability 55 55 so it's the same armor rating but i get a magic boost and more resistance so still not great broadsword of the moon plus six to all attributes damage four to twelve still not good enough considering what i can do with the axe Where am I at on potions? I should stock up. And considering that my, what ails you, my friend? full healing potions were not getting used, I guess I'm going to have to go with these for the time being. So, okay. And I think I have a little bit more money I can deposit. Which I do. So drop that, drop that. Now I'll just move this over and I will deal with organizing all this, the rest of this stuff later. So, right now we are again in a good spot because we got out of that snarl with the lightning slingers. We are almost through with level 12 and now we have just got to be able to find, I believe it's the last three levels to uncover and then we are pretty close to getting Diablo and potentially finishing this game. So, uh, as always, if you've been enjoying the content on the channel, best way to show it, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Uh, don't forget about Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up this weekend, where we play a classic sports and fighting or fighting platform-based game from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th generation. Follow us on Instagram and threads, all at the same address, at Ronin's Retrocade, one word, no apostrophes. 
And as always, if there's a game you'd like to see us feature from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK, Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below, drop me a line on social media, it can be any game from those consoles that you want. And as always, my name is Ronan, it's been great to spend this time with you. Be safe, be well, happy gaming, and we'll see you again in episode 13 of our playthrough of the original Diablo. Bye!